Welcome to the BFF Report, I'm your host, Mike B, aka Pony, and today we're gonna be taking a look at Funcom's Age of Conan Unchained. Previously unrated, now it's like un-unrated. Like there's just more naked people or something. Let's take a look. By the way, if you are a YouTube subscriber and you're watching this right now, okay, because you're the only ones that can see this, I'm gonna cut it up. Uh, stay tuned after for some news and stuff, some important stuff, so stay tuned. Normally when I do a BFF report, I roll with like a warrior or a rogue. I'm sure if you guys have watched the show before, you, you've probably seen that I, I tend to do that. And the reason why is because it's just what I'm comfortable with, right? I've been playing offensive classes since I've started playing MMOs. It's just my thing, right? I think I had like one priest in WoW and I got to like level 19. And the only thing I did, I was really, really good with the mouse over dispel thing. I mean, I was ace at that stuff. I'm telling you, I was the best. Anyways, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna roll a, a priest for AOC because I'm gonna make this different. I'm gonna show everybody that, hey, you can level with the priest and be happy. That shit, I was wrong. I hated leveling with the priest. It was the, it was so frustrating. I mean, look at, look, okay, look, 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 okay. I got to level 10 on it, okay? So I went through a couple things, got in a couple good fights, all right? So look at this dude that I'm fighting. No, notice what's happening. Notice how I have to run like a bitch. Now, I was probably doing something wrong, okay? I, I probably was, all right? Now, look at my guardian here, okay? I am kicking so much ass, I don't even have to think about it. I'm two-handing the keyboard because my keybinds are all f***ed up right now, so I'm actually, like, two-handing the numbers and shit, right? Because I don't have to move because that's how much ass I'm kicking right now, all right? So, call this a PSA. If you're rolling AOC for the very first time, stick with what you know. All right, character creation. The first thing you notice when you get in here is, besides the male-female, is that there are four factions, and one of them is actually locked unless you purchase an expansion. Uh, each faction can only be a certain combination of classes, so you see some of them here are grayed out, and then there's some of them with a little red lock next to them. Those are available to premium members only, so you have to actually buy a premium account or pay for the premium account or service in order to unlock those particular classes, which means that the classes that I'm gonna be rolling, which are the basic classes over here on the left, are gonna be the ones that are probably gonna be uh, pretty predominant in the game as a whole. Go ahead and check out the males. Gonna click random here a couple times, just kind of check out the different styles that there are. And uh, you can see that for the most part, they're all, it, <laughs> Jesus, what the hell? Uh, they're all pretty much um, around the same like height with nothing too crazy. You're not gonna make some like super ultra long fingers character or anything stupid like that. The guys look like they fit the lore. And just like the male side on the female side, we have a thin, fat, muscle, triangle, because everybody in the world fits one of these three categories or some combination of those three. Uh, so flip those around a little bit, uh, different hairstyles, right? The, the normal stuff that we're used to seeing. Get into the advanced features, you can actually go through and adjust the individual sliders for different parts of the body, right? Uh, you know, arms, chest, uh, ooh, look, a breast slider. I'm gonna put this all the way up. <laughs> actually, I am. Again, get into sculpting the face. You know, lots of different options here. Chin width, chin height, nose, mouth, width, eyes, angle, all that good stuff, right? And it's nothing too crazy, right? Like, you're not gonna make like an alien. You're just gonna make like an ugly person. And for example here, you know, I, I noticed there was something missing. There was something that, just one thing that would make a world of difference here. And there we go, Beavis. But since I already rolled a female for my priest that I absolutely hated, I decided to go ahead and roll with the male. I tried my best to make Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones. It was extremely difficult because turns out Tyrion actually has a pretty smooth face, not a lot of harsh features, whereas everybody in Age of Conan looks like they got punched in the face by a car accident. The story for the two characters I played was pretty simple, right? Uh, I'm a slave, I am on a slave ship, slave ship crashes, I'm on a beach, I wake up, I have no idea who I am or who I was, and this dude's all like, yeah, dude, you're a slave. By the way, your slave master is up the road. You should probably go and kick his ass because he's gonna tell everybody you are a slave, and then you're pretty much good for the rest of your life. So you pretty much do just that. So far, everything I've experienced has been voiced, which is actually pretty nice. I almost feel like I'm playing the Witcher minus the hack and slash style combat, but that being said, the combat in AOC is about as close to hack and slash as you're gonna get right now until like Terra comes out, right? For an MMO. Allow me to explain. Notice down here on my bar, there are three buttons and they're used to swing your weapon or whatever it is you have uh, in that direction. So upper left, up and upper right. I've seen videos where people actually have two more for like back left and back right. I have no idea where that comes from. 
There's also a defense mechanism that allows you to mitigate in specific directions as well. Up, left, right. And you could stack your three different mitigation markers on top of each other if you know that someone's going to be hitting you pretty hard on that side or in the front or whatever. And this, of course, applies to both PvE and PvP. So if I come at some mob with like a, a crazy combo strike to the left, then you're gonna see all of his defense shift to that side because he's gonna be expecting it to happen again. And then you can basically beat down the other side to get them to spread out that mitigation barrier and then hit him again. And on the PvP side, it allows you to actually use your brain. So when you're fighting somebody, it's like, hey, I know for a fact that this guy's most powerful move is coming from the left side. So I'm gonna stack all my defenses on that side the second we get into a fight. Cause you can control all this stuff in real time. It's not like you have to uh, prepare for it. Like you're stacking your deck and then you go into a game. It's not like that. You basically do it all on the fly. So it's, it's kind of an interesting system. I kind of like that. The combo system took me a minute to kind of get the hang of because if, as you probably noticed on a lot of the footage that I'm showing you today, I'm actually doing it wrong. Uh, I'm hitting the combo button and then I'm immediately mashing the directional button because I, I want to add it like, oh, like Street Fighter, down, down, right, right, punch, a Hadouken, right? I, that's for some reason I was in with that attitude and that happens very quickly. Uh, this game, not quite like that. You hit the combo button and then a little activator will come up and a little countdown, right? And then you push whatever directional button it is. Some of the moves, however, do not require any other actions outside of just hitting the key. Like for example, I have like a shockwave type effect that actually does a knockback, which is kind of nice in groups because uh, it does some damage. Doesn't always knock them back though. I'm not quite sure why. Questing in AOC is about what you'd expect from pretty much any MMO. You're basically an errand boy. You're gonna go and collect this much stuff, come back, go give this to this guy, go kill these guys and bring me back to their thumbs. And then I'll give you a cookie, some gold, or this thing that I found on the ground then present to you as if it's some kind of awesome gift. Uh, these are things that we expect from any MMO. Now, one thing that actually sets AOC's questing apart from the rest, uh, or from majority of them, is that they have a nighttime questing area that is all single player. Now, if you haven't played AOC, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what? Single player in my MMO? I don't understand. There's still gonna be people around. No, that's the thing. At night, there's no other people around. It's just you. You can't even bring friends with you. So the first city, Tortage, has a series of quests that you do at night that you're by yourself and you go out and you do them and you, it's just a story that's tailored to your specific archetype, your class, your faction, whatever. And you knock them all out. You get tons of XP and you get a couple of rewards from it. Not a whole lot of uh, loot dropping from guys, which kind of makes sense. I mean, you can't just sit there and grind mobs by yourself at night with no threat of being attacked by anyone ever uh, and expect to really get like a ton of loot. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Now, every major city has its own quest chain that happens at night. Of course, it's tailored to you and you have to complete it before moving on to the next area. So if you're like not down with single player business in your multiplayer game, then you're not going to be very satisfied with this system. Okay, the cash shop. Always the, the funnest part of doing these reviews. Talk about the cash shop. Okay, they have a premium membership. It's pretty fairly obvious what it is, okay? you It's a monthly subscription. Unlocks almost the entire game except for Rise of the God Slayer. Uh, most of the things they sell is all social items. See, look, uh, item here. Okay, cool. Wow. Social. Okay. Uh, next item down the list here. Uh, social item. Doesn't really do anything except for it just makes you look like whatever it is you want to look like here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uncheck show usable and you see we have PvP gear with stats. PvP gear, stats, purples, okay? With combat rating on them, okay? PvP combat rating on them. You could buy this stuff on the, uh, it's, it's, okay, let's, let's see how far down you can actually go and buy gear that has stats, because that kind of kind of concerns me a little bit. Scroll all the way down here, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, wow. So at level 20, I can start actually buying gear that's, I, hope, I don't know if it's on par, I don't know if it's better than, whatever, but you could buy gear. Oh, and a camel, I guess. Uh, besides the, you know, bags and stuff that we're typically used to in an MMO, uh, it's, it seems kind of weird. Uh, let's see, so here's the, uh, the Mega Pack, Might of Krom, full set of beginner weapons. Uh, there is something here, where is it at? Uh, that actually allows you to increase your experience gain up until a certain level, and then you replace with another piece of gear that does another increase in experience gain. So. You're basically buying what I guess in World of Warcraft terms are BOAs, right? That allow you to increase an amount of experience you get as you level. That one, however, you're looking at the points, Funcom points, which can be used with Age of Conan, Anarchy Online, and Bloodline Champions. You're gonna be spending a little over $50 to get that mega pack that comes with everything you need. But outside of that, it's a cash shop, guys. It's there so you can pay money and help keep the game going. That's how they work. But selling PvP gear in a PvP-oriented game, kind of weird. Speaking of PvP, I did get a chance to jump in there and play some of their organized PvP matches where uh, they're all instants, of course. This one is uh, more of a uh, control resources, okay, or control nodes. 
Um, I wasn't really able to contribute much to the team because I was level 11 and everybody else was level 19. Um, but I did try, right? I got in there, held my own, and then I hit the X button until I passed out. Um, which, you know, not much I could do, I guess. But playing organized PvP on the Blood and Glory server felt kind of weird since the whole thing uh, is about open world PvP and penalties and all that. So let me share with you some of the experiences that I had when I was out there leveling and just experiences, you know, open world PvP on the Blood and Glory server. Look at this guy, look at this guy. Oh, what the? Oh, come on. What ambush attack? Give me a break. Seriously? There's a backhand? That was awesome. Oh, yeah. Nah, this seems really pathetic. But I'm winning, so that's all that matters. What's up, man? Oh. That's it? Okay. I guess... Then I guess we're done here. Ooh, some loot. Oh, really? Wow. Is that bait? Oh, Jesus. Wow. Level 17. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. What a douchebag. What a douchebag. In the water. Let me guess. I can't. Oh, my God. I can't fight in the water. Wow. What a huge dude. I'm dying. I'm dying. Okay, well. Do, 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 do. I could be a douchebag to see ya. Oh, come on, dude. I'm already busy with this. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. What an ass. What an ass. Nice. A stun. Sweet. Wow, it must be nice to have one of those. Oh, and I dropped some loot. Nice. What is he? Oh, I, something out of my bag just fell. Sweet. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Now we ain't done yet. Now we ain't done yet. Oh, stun. Yes, of course. Nice. How long is this last again? Oh, what's up? Oh, I'm gonna run in circles. I'm gonna run in circles. Huge circles. And I don't think I'm gonna win this one. I, I don't think I'm gonna win this one. Oh, I might. I might. Oh, get my swing up. Naked girl out of nowhere. Really? He doesn't need your help, lady. He ran away. Nice. I win? So as you just saw and as I experienced very quickly, uh, whenever you die, you lose a piece of gear. I'm going to guess it's all BOE items, things that are not bound to you because it'd be kind of weird if like your like your chest piece fell off or something. I mean, it makes sense IRL, but in the game, that kind of really suck, especially if you bought that item off of like the cash shop or something. Uh, but I, can you circumvent this by just stacking your bags with a whole bunch of greens and going out ganking and then like trash greens that people are just going to be like, oh, wow, nice. I got this piece of crap from this dude. Ooh. Oh, by the way, almost forgot about the talent trees. Just like wow, lol. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps things up, except for the talent tree thing. I was totally kidding about that. Uh, their talent tree, yes, they do have a similar feat type increase of skills that uh, is similar to other games. I just, wow, kidding. just calm down, calm down. But they also have another one right down the middle that works like uh, skills that you would find in Fallen Earth and Eve and the upcoming coming planet side uh, of forever or whatever the crap it's called. All right, so yeah, YouTube. So before we go, uh, check this out. All BFF Report episodes from now on is gonna be moving over to slash AK Mike B on YouTube. Just like my Twitter, just like my Facebook. Just click on this guy here and then go there and sub up because that's where the BFF reports are gonna be moving. And the reason why is a couple of things. I'll probably make a video to kind of explain like what's going on and what happened and uh, my theories as to why things like went this way. Uh, is this, this particular account, the Waffoni account has been nailed for copyright violations several times. Uh, I've, I've been I've been naughty in the past, let me just say that. Uh, the new account is not in any kind of trouble whatsoever. And it was also flagged for some kind of weird partner program. And it has no videos on it. So I'll tell you guys more about that later. I will see you guys next week, bye.